back in the kitchen. And today we're making breakfast balls. Breakfast balls. That's exactly what we're making. And we're going to start by greasing the pan. You want to help me? Right, right, right. So that's so the bars don't stick. And we put it on one side. And we also preheat the oven to 180 degrees. Okay. We've got 300 and something grams with the recipe. Mm -hmm. The recipe that was in this issue. See, that's what it looks like. But we're making it one and a half times. So I have measured out chopped almonds and macadamia nuts. You could also use cashew nuts or any nuts that you fancy. Yes. Bars have got nuts, they've got dates, family dates in this case. We want some desiccated coconut, a little bicarb, rolled oats, and then what's going to hold it all together are mashed up bananas, your favorite thing to do. Okay, well, let me start it off for you. While you're mashing them, I'm going to chop some dates. These dates are very sticky. You're doing a great job with those bananas. There's still some chunky pieces there. Now we're going to add the dates, scooped up, because they are really sticky. Oh, these guys are juicy. Now, if you want to, you can pour in the nuts, the chopped up nuts. Okay, so I've added the coconuts. Whoa, look how much. It's like snow. A few extra almonds. And finally, some rolled oats. Okay, now the fun part starts. We've mixed it all together. And now we're going to put them in the baking tray with your fingers. Are your hands clean? Yeah. Are you sure? As you will see, I have not managed to fill the tray. To the oven. Okay. That guy for 25 minutes. Okay. And I'm just going to mix together some plain yogurt with some local seasonal honey. Do you want to come and pour this over, honey? Who wants to taste? Anyone? I would say a mashup between a crunchy and banana bread. What's not to like? 